Poems Every Child Should Know. Edited by Mary E. Burt. Section 22. Read for LibriVox.org by Kara Schallenberg. This section contains the following poems. I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, John Barleycorn, and A Life on the Ocean Wave. Part 2. Continued. I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. The daffodil is here out of compliment to a splendid school and a splendid teacher at Poughkeepsie. I found the pupils learning the poem, the teacher having placed a bunch of daffodils in a vase before them. It was a charming lesson. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of solitude, and then my heart with pleasure fills, and dances with the daffodils. William Wordsworth John Barleycorn John Barleycorn is a favourite with boys because it pictures a successful struggle. One editor has made a temperance poem of it, mistaking its true intent. The poem is a strong expression of a ploughman's love for a hardy, food-giving grain, which has sprung to life through his efforts. There were three kings into the east, three kings both great and high, and they have sworn a solemn oath John Barleycorn should die. They took a plough and ploughed him down, put clods upon his head, and they have sworn a solemn oath John Barleycorn was dead. But the cheerful spring came kindly on, and showers began to fall. John Barleycorn got up again, and sore surprised them all. The sultry suns of summer came, and he grew thick and strong, his head well armed with pointed spears, that no one should him wrong. The sober autumn entered mild, and he grew wan and pale. His bending joints and drooping head showed he began to fail. His colour sickened more and more, he faded into age. And then his enemies began to show their deadly rage. They took a weapon long and sharp and cut him by the knee, then tied him fast upon a cart, like a rogue for forgery. They laid him down upon his back and cudgelled him full sore. They hung him up before the storm and turned him o'er and o'er. They filled up then a darksome pit, with water to the brim, and heaved in poor John Barleycorn to let him sink or swim. They laid him out upon the floor to work him further woe, and still as signs of life appeared they tossed him to and fro. They wasted o'er a scorching flame the marrow of his bones, but a miller used him worst of all, he crushed him tween two stones. And they have taken his very heart's blood and drunk it round and round, and still, the more and more they drank, their joy did more abound. Robert Burns A Life on the Ocean Wave A Life on the Ocean Wave by Epes Sargent, 1813-80, gives the swing and motion of the water of the great ocean. Children remember it almost unconsciously after hearing it read several times. A life on the ocean wave, a home on the rolling deep, Where the scattered waters rave, and the winds their revels keep. Like an eagle caged I pine on this dull unchanging shore, Oh, give me the flashing brine, the spray, and the tempest's roar. Once more on the deck I stand, of my own swift gliding craft, Set sail, farewell to the land, the gale follows fair abaft. We shoot through the sparkling foam like an ocean bird set free. Like the ocean bird, our home we'll find far out on the sea. The land is no longer in view, 
the clouds have begun to frown, but with a stout vessel and crew we'll say, let the storm come down, and the song of our hearts shall be, while the winds and the waters rave, a home on the rolling sea, a life on the ocean wave. Epe Sargent End of section 22. Read by Kara Schallenberg on October 19, 2006, in Oceanside, California.